नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वुड यू लाइक टू नो अबाउट दैट इज वीडियो असिस्टेड थेराकोस्कोपिक सर्जरी द सर्जरी फॉर लंग कैंसर इफ यस देन यू आर एट द राइट स्पेस फ्रेंड्स लंग कैंसर इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग साइट्स फॉर कैंसर यू वुड बी सरप्राइज टू नो दैट अबाउट वन मेल इन ऑल 16 मेल एंड वन फीमेल इन ऑल 17 फीमेल्स हैव लंग कैंसर हाउएवर विद द एडवांसमेंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड द स्किलफुल डॉक्टर्स we are able to achieve a success rate and a good survival rate from about 25% to 55% over 4 years that is from 2019 to 2023 this is precisely the reason medico experts have planned to create a educational video for the patients to take a informed this before i start the session i like to introduce myself i am dr ashita nangalkar from medico experts india and today i want to discuss the different aspect of vas surgery under the patient awareness initiative taken by medical today in this discussion one of the most experienced doctors of west india dr george will be joining with us to discuss and share his experience and there would be some questions from your perspective that i will be asking so do watch this video till the end friends dr george has a vast experience of 15 years in this field he was also the ex professor of tata memorial hospital he is a renowned expert in minimal invasive surgeries and complex research of thoracic surgery currently he is director of surgical oncology specialization in thoracic surgery at nanavati max hospital in mumbai india welcome dr george to medico expert patient awareness initiative uh, thank you very much for the kind introduction Uh, so you know i'll be happy to take any questions on vats she has given the details of lung cancer and the potential threat to patients so thank you a lot for joining with us so let's start with the first question let's put some light on what is vats for the global audience sir. okay vats means video assisted thoracoscopic surgery so thoracoscopy means basically we will be doing all the surgeries in the chest through a small incision which uh, is probably 3 to 4 cm in size and you can add we call it multi portal which means that you will be using several small incisions that is you know uh, up to 1 cm in size or you could do use it through a single incision which is called uni portal which is more popular now and that will be a probably a 3 or 4 cm incision and whatever surgery which we were doing earlier through a massive incision can be done through a small one and this is used uh, done using a camera which is inserted into the body through that small hole so that we can see all the organs inside the body with that camera and small specialized instruments are placed inside and the entire surgery is done through there and the specimen is taken out from there from through that small hole again now how it helps a patient is that it helps a patient recover much faster so video assisted thoracoscopy surgery has become very popular for some lung surgeries particularly early stage lung cancers can be treated very well with video assisted thoracoscopy surgery and the main advantage is the early recovery and pain free recovery which the patient is allowed to have So first of all thank you for the beautiful explanation as well you have answered the next question that i was supposed to ask that is the benefits of vats i am sure that the audience would like to know that and yeah. so uh, as you the, the main advantage is the decrease in pain that is the first thing the patient notices okay that the decrease in pain the dis- uh, discomfort they are able to breathe more freely they are able to cough better the next most important thing which is actually more important for doctors and the patients of course is that there is a significant reduction in complications so the most common complication after any lung surgery is chest infection that is primarily because the patient is not able to cough because of the pain now since the pain is reduced the patient is able to cough better and the patient has less lung complications that's more than a 50% reduction that's very important now right. because there are less complications the patient gets discharged earlier also so normally a lung surgery requires at least a four day hospital stay four or five days that's what's normally expected but if you do the same surgery thoracoscopically in my last 20 surgeries the average discharge or time to discharge is three days for instance the today is a friday if i do a thoracoscopic lung surgery on a patient today the patient uh, 90% chance of going home on monday that is two days from now 
So that's how fast the recovery is once you do a thoracoscopic surgery. So the speed of recovery, reduction in complications, and the reduction in pain is, are the main reasons why you should push probably, if possible, for a thoracoscopic surgery. Back surgery versus the open surgeries or thorectomy that are done. So what is the major so, difference? So, so the major difference is the size of the incision. For that, a big incision is required and the ribs right. are spread apart and the same uh, and the surgery is done. The same surgery is done through a smaller incision. That's the only difference in bats. And a smaller incision, there is no rib spreading, so there is less pain and less complications, as I explained earlier. But VATS may not be possible in all patients. Some patients have big diseases with major, you know, involvement of major vessels or the heart or other structures, in which case minimally invasive surgery or VATS surgery may not be possible. So you have to pick the right patient for the right approach. So some patients may require open thoracotomy like in olden times and that is absolutely essential. But where possible and where it is safe to use, we should use thoracoscopic surgery. That should be the message which goes out to patients. Wonderful, sir. So uh, this brings me to the next question that who is the best candidate for VATS? How is the patient going to identify whether I am the person who should go for VATS or not? Generally weaker uh, patients who don't have that much effort tolerance or on the elderly side, the thoracoscopic surgery may benefit them. But this is always a question or something which needs to be answered in tandem with the treating physician and then take a decision has to be taken. The prime importance is the disease is cured and it is done safely. So these are the two questions which need to be answered first. At least uh, the indications of that. So other than lung cancer that we are aware of, what can be the indications, what stages, if we can uh, talk more about it, I think that would be helpful for the patients. So thoracoscopy or wax is not meant for lung cancer alone. Lung cancer actually is a very advanced indication. So it can be used for diseases of the mediastinum like thymus, myasthenia gravis, diseases of the esophagus like esophageal cancer. And many benign indications uh, in the lung, like bullectomies, patients have recurrent air pockets in the lung, or you have a TB with a pus collection in the chest, which can be drained easily with uh, VATS rather than open surgery. You can do a lobectomy for lung cancer. You can do lymph node resections. So basically, any structure inside the chest, the major organs which are usually involved are the lungs, the foot pipe, and sometimes the mediastinum, that is the central part of the chest. So any disease inside there, be it cancer or a small other infective disease, can be handled by VATS if surgery is required. But again, you have to pick the right patient and the right disease for this procedure. And this decision has to be taken together with the patient. Great, sir. So I think this burns a lot of myth of many people who think that only lung cancer is treated by VATS. But there are also other indications, as Sir just mentioned, any mass, anything in the thorax can be helped with the help of back surgery. Rightly put, sir? Yes, yes. And it need not be mass alone. There are reasons, uh, reasons like you know, some t chronic TB infections with pus collections. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, people have bullet or, or uh, air pockets in the lung which need to be excised. All of these can also be done easily thoracoscopically. Was potential if used for the correct indications. Perfectly, sir. And sir, if we can know as a from the pers uh, patient's perspective, if the patient needs to know that what are the you know steps or how is the VAT uh, surgery carried out, if we can just give an overview, that would be beautiful for the patients. Ah, so basically, uh, one thing uh, you must understand that this is. Although it's done through a three or four small uh, centimeter small incision, it is not a small procedure. So you will require general anesthesia uh, for which the patient is completely anesthetized. So he's unconscious. We'll have to collapse one of the lungs. So the chest cavity uh, can, can be entered safely. So we have different techniques which help the lung on the side of the surgery collapse. So there is no air entering it. So we can enter the chest safely see all the structures inside and then safely perform the surgery. And once the surgery is finished, we close the small incision and we place a tube inside. This is to help remove any fluid or air which is already collecting inside to escape out. And this tube usually is removed in one or two days. 
So even if you are speaking about a very small procedure thoracoscopically, please anticipate at least a day's hospital stay when you're going for this procedure. And it may extend up depending on the seriousness of the surgery up to two or three days. So, sir, uh, coming to the next question, what is the real recovery time for VATS if we have to say for any kind of indication that we just talked about? Uh, uh, the normal time to discharge after a major surgery lung, like a lobectomy uh, for lung cancer is around three days. Uh, but otherwise, some surgeries we actually discharge on the very next day or two days. So, that's the time period of the hospital. The time to switch to mold is 10 days. Patients are able to go about their normal activities of daily life after leaving the hospital. So since the incision is small, the pain is less, we cover it with analgesics. So they should be able to go about the routine activities of daily life by around six or seven days. And some patients, I had very energetic patients who have driven hundreds, uh, 100 kilometers you know, in the fourth or fifth day. But that varies from patient to patient. But your routine activities of daily life, definitely in six or seven days, you should be able to go. Okay, but that's quite interesting, sir. So the recovery time is much lesser, I would say. Yes. So most questions are, patients ask the question when they can return to work. And I safely recommend that, that if it is office work or sedentary work, they should be back in the office in six or seven days. Is, are there any kind of prerequisites for VAT surgery as such that the patient should be aware of? Yes. So if the patient has, uh, you know, uh, pre-existing, uh, uh, most patients are suitable for VATs. Okay. But if you had a previous thoracic surgery, it makes it difficult. If you had a previous uh, lung infection like a tuberculosis or any fungal infection, it makes the surgery difficult. Uh, all these conditions may make surgery difficult but not impossible. So you should always entertain the possibility of getting the surgery done thoracoscopically and ask the question to your physician. And if it is safely possible after doing the, uh, you know, the correct imaging and the tests, including a pulmonary function test and the 2D echo, we will be able, able to uh, tell you whether we can perform this, uh, whether this is the right approach for that particular disease and whether it can be performed safely. So these are the contraindications that we can see. Right. They are not con absolute con So, you know, content indications can be absolute, where you are absolutely not supposed to do it, or, uh, you know, relative. So, these are the, the things which I mentioned are relative indications. So, it may be difficult for some, uh, or in some cases, but not absolutely impossible. So, you can ask the question and the decision has to be taken on a case-to-case -case basis. So, one more very common question that most of the audience would like to understand and know is the success rate or the historic success rate of VAX up till now. So, uh, the success rate as in whether we are able to complete it thoracoscopically is a question. So, you know, in, in every surgery which we do laparoscopically or through a keyboard, there is a possibility that we may not be able to complete it, you know, because of some technical reasons or uh, because the tumor is too big. So in my series, normally it's, I would say it's about 4%. So if I do 100 patients, 4 patients, I will not be able to complete it uh, through a thoracoscopic and I'll have to do an open surgery. But that risk remains with most patients. Now the second thing is the uh, short term outcomes as in the patient's complication rates. Complication rates across the board, based on all data and in my experience, there is a significant reduction in complication rates. Now, the third and the important question when you talk about cancer is, are the cancer-related outcomes uh, the same as open surgery? The results are the same or in some cases, if not better. The reason there is no evidence to say that it is better than uh, open surgery, but you could think that, okay, you recover better, so you can take chemotherapy faster. So probably your cancer-related outcomes also could be better. But there is no evidence as of now to say that it is better than open surgery. But all I can say is at least as good as open surgery in terms of cancer-related outcomes. So, sir, I would also like to understand from the patient's perspective if there are any risk or any side effects that are involved in bad surgery. Yes. So, there are risks in terms of, there are many uh, potential because the thorax or the chest is full of important structures, including major blood vessels and the airways. So there is a possibility of injury to these structures during thoracic surgery. So you need to be operated by a really expert surgeon. 
uh, that takes care of one aspect of it. It can happen to anyone, but with your experience, as the experience grows, uh, the possibility of injury to other structures also comes down over a period of time. That's one. Secondly, while doing thoracoscopy, it's important to handle the tumor well and make sure that it doesn't rupture or burst inside the chest, which, you know, uh, makes the surgery pointless. So it should be, the tumor should be handled carefully. It should be removed completely without leaving any tumor behind. And we should not any injure any structures inside. These are the risks which uh, exist in thoracoscopic surgery, which are slightly more than an open surgery, which is why you need to, uh, you know, uh, go to into experienced hands for this particular surgery, and it it most surgeons achieve it over a period of time. So thanks a lot for answering it in so patiently and uh, you know with so preciseness. I would say. So the last question that I would like to initiate on is one of the questions I know that would be a little dicey to answer. That is the cost part because uh, many a people do think that the cost of VAT surgery is uh, too much for them to bear. So I would like to understand at least on the percentage basis how much is the variation between the normal traditional ways that is uh, open surgery or thorectomy and the VAT surgery. Yeah. So um, you will be surprised to know that there is a lot of data not from India, but from the Western countries, that actually thoracoscopy over a period of time would end up cheaper than open surgery. This is because the patients, uh, there is a lot of expensive equipment during the surgery, they use during the surgery. But what happens is this cost is compensated by the patient returning to work earlier. So uh, normally a major thoracic surgery, you know, a long time back, we, patients used to recover for, uh, you know, uh, light work duty or leave from work for a, a month, month and a half. Now, most patients get to return to work early. So when you calculate over a period of time, the cost of the surgery or the cost incurred by thoracoscopic surgery is compensated by the early discharge, lack of complications, which are themselves expensive to treat and early return to work. So most data, unfortunately, the data is not from India. We don't have Indian data. Most data from uh, the West, including the US and other Western countries, so that thoracoscopic or even robotic surgery over a long period of time works out cheaper than open surgery. But I must admit that at the point of surgery, because of the use of staplers and advanced devices, it is uh, incrementally probably around uh, 10 to 15 percent more cheap, uh, more expensive than an open surgery. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for such a precious piece of information that you have given to us today. I'm sure. Even I am well informed now and even I'm sure that Thank the audience much. is uh, going to love this session. Right. So friends, I would like to uh, emphasize that each case is going to be different, although we have given an overview. But in any case, the, there would be variation of all kind of uh, things depending on the comorbidities, the spread, the staging and as sir mentioned, even the indications. So although that is not something for meant for everyone, but it has a vast scope if we look at different aspects of it. So if you want to get in touch with Dr. George, you can contact us on the given information on the screen. So it will be available also in the description in the video. He is one of the expertised doctors as already mentioned in none of the ones. So thank you guys and thank you, sir, for your precious time. So guys, this was the piece of information that we received today and it was a well-aware, well-explained session for sure. For keeping in with such medical uh, advancement in science, you can keep uh, subscribed to us and you can be in touch. I'll soon see you in next informative awareness videos. This is Dr. Ashita signing off from Medical Experts for now.